Alright, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot a lamp. Remember whenever you're working on electricity, make your make sure your items are unplugged, your power's all killed, you're not going to get shocked. If you're not familiar with this, uh, be supervised by somebody who is. You don't want to shock yourself. Put my ohm meter or my multimeter in the ohm position. Once I have it in the ohm position, I want to make sure my meter works. Just put the two leads together. Should read pretty close to zero ohms. And here I'm reading 0.1. That 0.1 resistance is the resistance between the connectors and in the wiring. Okay, I'm in the mega ohm scale here. See there, it's reading the resistance from my right hand to my left hand through my body. It's an uh, awful high scale. That scale won't do me any good for troubleshooting the lamp. So I'm going to lower it to the ohm scale. Okay, first I'm going to take my meter leads and I'm going to put clamps on them. And then I'm going to take these clamps and I'm going to clamp it to both sides of the plug of the lamp. This is going to read the internal resistance of the circuit. You know, the lamp is a simple series circuit. It just has a switch and the light bulb in it. And I have it connected here. And now I can see why the light is intermittent. I'm reading from 140 ohms down to, if I wiggle it right, I can get it down to 39 ohms. So we know we have a, a loose connection somewhere. This lamp is old. So I'll. Uh, see what I could do here. The first thing I'll do is check my connections, look for any wire weird marks, but we're reading 170 ohms, 180 ohms. So anytime you have a high ohmage like that, you're gonna have sparking and arcing in the in the devices that will, will heat up, they'll work. They might even short. So you want to try to clean this up. I'm going to clean all the connections, make sure maybe it's just a little corrosion or dirt on my connection. I'm going to pull the socket up a little bit so I can look at my wires, see if they're corroded, see if they have any buildup of corrosion on them. I'm going to tighten these connections. We're going to tighten them all up. I got a feeling that this socket is just overworn. It's just old. I think the only way I'm going to fix this is to uh, replace the socket. See my light bulb reads, uh, you can't see my meter very well, but it was 11.8 ohms across the filament. Let's put it on in there after we cleaned everything up. And I have the same thing, I have all this variable. I did get it down quite a bit, it's going from 11 or 13 ohms to 42, 48, 50. But being cautious, I'm going to throw out this lamp. If I wanted to keep it, I'd buy a new socket, install it, and do the same checks.